One last example of job sequencing. By the way, this job sequencing is kind of interesting in that really we're looking at simple jobs right now. We're looking at jobs that go and are processed through one single process. We haven't even addressed any issues with multiple steps or multiple processes for, for an item to get through. That comes next, but for right now, all I'm really looking at is saying I have one process, we do it, it's over. I can think a lot of things in my life have been like that. Uh, you know, I get together, I have these consulting things that have to be done, but I don't work on them in different rooms. You know, I work on uh, all of them sitting in front of my computer, and that computer can only do one thing at a time. So this kind of job shop of mine is, you know, I could organize it like we showed in example 19.2. 19.3 and uses the, the uh, last of the techniques uh, that is finding a critical ratio. Now the information needs are a little bit different than in, in the last example. Uh, I need to have the job listing, that is correct. I need to have the due date when they're when they're uh, going to be due now but this is not this is kind of relative because it's kind of like well when the job came in we called that day zero and what I need to know right now is what day am I on since I put this list together well according to the example I'm on day 20 so really I have five days left uh, to get this job done uh, and and so, you know, this I've got 10 days left, and this one I've got four days left, etc. So, what I'm trying to do is decide, okay, here I am on day number 20. How do I organize these processes so that I can get the most done on time? Well, the objective is construct these, these indices that uh, are talked about in the text. And here's what I need. I need a way to say, okay, well, what's the due date? 25 days out. What's today's date? Well, it's the 20th day in the process. So I'm going to take the difference between 25 and 20, which is 5. And I'm going to divide it by the processing time remaining, which is 5. So I expect a 1 for my index number on that very first job, job A. Well, what does that 1 mean? Well, that 1 means that I'm right on schedule. So as we're moving right now, I will be done exactly on time. So I just take this index number calculation and I just copied it down the line, getting the meanings. Okay, well, the greater than one meaning is it's ahead of schedule. Less than one means it's behind schedule. How do I organize? Well, I want to organize this by uh, smallest critical ratio. Let me get the right area. So I'm going to filter it, custom, and sort by critical ratio, smallest to largest. And that is how I'm going to uh, that is how I'm going to construct. And I want to paint it and make it pretty. That is how I'm going to construct my uh, for sequencing. What's behind to what's furthest do I have the most time on? All right, well, hopefully this helps us pretty quick, much quicker than our last example. Uh, but the information requirements are also different than in the last example. Make sure you know that. Make sure you know that. So thanks, and uh, we'll see you shortly.